<clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rechakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'in Hada Sham name, Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son, meaning He delivers, He saves, Rechakwadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, great most of the well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. Back at it. When another through the sprint prayer, Yahweh Shema Shiloh, when this video is edifying. And I just want to get straight into it through the spirit, man. All right, there's going to be moments when you're going to feel like this. All right, and what is this particular feeling that I'm referring to? This is uh, Matthew 27 and 46. And about the ninth hour, Yahweh Shai cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my power, my power, why has thou forsaken me, man? Okay? Right. So, you're going to have certain moments in your in your walk where you're going to feel like Yahweh Bashmashai hath forsaken you. You know? You're going to feel like you, you are, you're going through something alone. You know, you're praying to the Lord, but you're not getting an answer. You know, you're trying to seek Yahweh Bashmashai to take some away from you or to pass a certain cup from you because you're going through certain sufferings, but the Lord ain't answering you. Well, <clears throat> to put it plainly, you know, that's just something that you got to deal with. Okay? There's going to be certain moments in your truth in the in this walk. In the, not in our truth. It's in your, it's your Habash Mashai's truth. Okay? Because, you know, I, I don't like when people say, you got to walk in your truth, you know? Because there's only one truth, to be real. All right? And I'm, I'm spiritually speaking. Okay? If it doesn't line up with the truth, Yahweh Habash Mashai, then it ain't the truth. All right. I'm spiritually speaking. OK. Anyways, point being <clears throat> in this truth. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not going to be over righteous. You know, I'm sure you can spiritually play on that. If you say you walk in your truth, you know, like the scriptures say, work out your own salvation, so on and so forth. So I get it. But it kind of comes off like like, you know, it's your way of life. But it's really how about Shemashai's truth It's really how about Shemashai's way of life. Nonetheless. I digress. Point being, though, you know, certain things, you're going to go through certain moments in your life where you'll be like, damn, like, damn, is the Lord dealing with me? Is the Lord happy with me? Is the Lord displeased with me? Like, what's going on? Eli, Eli, Sabachthani, you know, Lama Sabachthani, my power, my power, why is thou forsaking me? You're going to feel like that sometimes. But those are the moments in the truth where you got to believe even harder. You got to maintain your integrity and your faith even harder. <clears throat> because it's not that the Lord ain't with you. You know, if you're doing the right thing in truth and sincerity, why won't the Lord be with you? If you're living uprightly, you're fearing Yahweh Bashmashai in truth and sincerity, why wouldn't the Lord be with you? It's just whatever you might be going through, you got to go through your own Garden of Gethsemane moment where that cup can't get passed. You got to go through that. And that moment is, is for you to develop in the spirit. You know, when Yahweh was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed to the Most High to pass the cup from him. You know, but he understood his lie. He understood the will of the Lord. So... There's going to be certain moments where the cup is not going to be passed from us. And, you know, you might pray to the Lord to help you in a situation, but you just got to go through it. Well, those are the situations, those are the times where you got to believe even harder, man. Okay? You know, and I'm saying this through the Spirit. Um, let me get this real quick. And it can also be a, a test of your integrity also, you know. So just maintain the faith. Okay? You know, a test your patience, so on and so forth. Um, let's get at this precept real quick. Because certain cups can't be passed away, man. Certain cups we must drink. And what I mean by cup, I mean that cup of suffering. Trials and tribulations, you know. Sirach in the second chapter. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation, man. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. So we can't make haste, man. We got to just believe. And I know it's easier said than done. But we got to continue continue to pray to the Lord to give us the faith to be pleasing in the sight and to believe, man. Okay? Even when it looks like all the chips are stacked against us. And really, it all comes down to Yahweh Shemshah's mercy anyways. That's what it all stems down to, man. We need mercy, man. Continually pray for the Lord's mercy, man. Okay? <clears throat> this is uh, Mark 14 
and we started at verse 35. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou will. And that's the same. We got to be in that same spirit as our Lord Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai, he didn't seek his own will. He always sought after the will of the Heavenly Father. And we have to be the same way. We have to always seek after the will of Yahweh Shai and not our own aspirations or our own will. Scriptures speak about being self-willed, man. We must. We already are subject to the will of Yahweh Shai. But there's no point to resist it, man. Okay? The Lord's will is going to be done anyway. So... Kind of like that Beanie Siegel movie. You either, you either lay down, you know, or you get, or you, or you stay down. You know, if you're paraphrasing. <laughs> okay. So, hey, the Lord will make you stay down, man, if you try to resist his will. You know, he's, he'll show you that he is the most high, that he is the one in control. Okay, so the best thing to do is submit. What they say, if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> you know, and that's really, in a sense, with the Lord. Okay. See if I get this. Uh, um, this is uh, Psalms chapter 42. Start from the top. It says, To the chief musician, Maskil, for the sons of Korah, as the heart panteth for the wa after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O Yahweh Shai. And that heart is spelled H A R T, which is a particular like a uh, deer. Okay? My soul thirsteth for Yahweh Shai for the living power. When shall I come and appear before the Most High, right? And that's what we're waiting for, man. We're waiting for the Lord to deliver us about this place, man. You know? It says, When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude when I went with them to the house of Yahweh Shai with the voice of joy and praise with the multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in Yahweh Shai. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. That's right. So when we're going through those moments where we feel casted down and downtrodden, man, we have to hope in Yahweh Bashem Hashai. Like Scripture say, uh, in despair, but yet not perplexed, man. Okay, let me see if I get that real quick. I think that's in Corinthians. Second Corinthians 4 and 8. It says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, roughly paraphrasing, or not roughly paraphrasing, that's, I roughly paraphrase it, but that's what the scripture says verbatim, so Salakia, I roughly paraphrase it, but I paraphrase it wrong, 2 Corinthians 4 and 8, but we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed, we are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our body. That's right. And that's the perfect precept for uh, Philippians 1 and 20. Yahweh Shah has to be magnified in our bodies. Philippians 1 and 20, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness as always, so now also my shiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. Man. And that's the point. So, you know, this is a part of Yahweh Shah being magnified in our bodies, going through the same sufferings that he went through. You know, and I, and I know we might sound like a broken record, but it's true. This is what's necessary. If we want to obtain the glory, guess what? We, by default, we sign up for the suffering. And that's and that's a quote in the world. People say that a lot. You know, everybody wants the guts. Everybody wants the, the glitz and the glamour. They want the glory, right? But nobody want to put in the work for it, man. All right. This is uh, Galatians 2 and 20. I am crucified with Mashiach. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Mashiach liveth in me. That's right. So. Now that we're living this this life, we're not living according to our own will. We're living according to the will of Yahweh Shemel Shai. It says, And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of the Most High, who loved me and gave himself for me. That's right. Yahweh Shai gave himself for us, for us, man. So the least we could do is serve him, lay our life down on the line, be a reasonable sacrifice, you know, make our bodies a holy living sacrifice, which is our reasonable service. Okay. Romans, the 12th chapter. All right. So Psalms 42 and verse 6. Oh, my power, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites and from the hill of Mizar. You see? 
So when your soul is feeling cast down, remember you how about Shemel Shai, man. Okay? It says, Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the power of my life. It says, I will say unto the Most High, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? That's right. And then we, some days you might feel like that. You're like, man, damn. Like, when, you know, when is this place going to be over with? But, with, man, when you look at the signs of the times and you count your blessings through the spirit, man, you know, you start to get that joy again. And you're like, man, okay, the Lord is dealing, man. You know, the Wadi Abba even though we catch in hell in Babylon, it's only for a season, man. You know, Yahweh Shah caught hell too. Yahweh Shah caught hell more than all of us combined. Okay? So it's like, hey, you know, this is a part of the job description, man. And this is what it is. This is what we signed up for. So that's why Scripture speak about how you got to count the costs. And you're going to have moments where, you know, if you want to be like Yahweh Shah. Well, guess what? You're going to go through a. a Form of what Yahweh Shai went through. Even the moment when Yahweh Shai said, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani. All right? Allah, Yah, Allah, Yah. You know, my power, my power, man. Why is thou forsaken me? You're going to have moments like that where you feel like that. It's prophesied in the book of Psalms. We just read it. Psalms 42 and verse 9. All right? Psalms 42 and 10. As with the sword in my bones, mine enemies reproach me while they say daily unto me, Where is thy power? That's right. And these, that's what these devils pretty much do. These niggas, these two thirds, the heathen, Esau, Edom, they looking at us like, like we're a joke, man. You know, and even though they might not say, where is thy power verbatim, the fact that they scoff and they mock, that's them basically figuratively saying that. Right? You got, some, you got people who constantly come past us on the highways. Oh, are you guys doing a concert? Are you guys doing a skit? Oh, are you nice Halloween costumes, guys? You know, constantly talking shit. Oh, you guys got those dresses? Where'd you guys get those dresses from? That's basically them figuratively saying, where is thy power? But in the day of thy power, when the Lord Yahweh Shemeshach shows his righteousness, they're going to see our boldness get manifest in that day. And they ain't going to have shit to say in that day, man. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, man. When they see the power of Yahweh Shemeshach, and really, they see it already, man. But the demons inside of them make them scoff. But nonetheless, the point being what? When, they, when the Lord makes it very, very apparent, where it's hard, where it's infallible, where the miracles, the, the miracles are going to be infallible, they're going to work willingly in that day. They're going to be willing to bow down in that day before a lot of them is going to be too fucking late. All right? Uh, verse 11. Why are thou cast down on my soul? And why are thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in Yahweh Shemeshai, for I shall yet praise him. Who is the health of my countenance and my power. And that's the spirit that we need to remain to have. Psalms 22 and 24. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. And that's what it is. Every time we cry unto Yahweh Shemeshai, when our Lord Yahweh was on that cross and he cried. The Lord heard, man. He heard it. Okay? So guess what? He hears us now, man. All right, Psalms 22 and 25. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that, that fear him. Right, and that's what we're doing. We vowed our lives with this truth. Okay, and we got to pay, pay our vow. Sirach, the, Sirach tells you, defer not unto death to be justified. You know, so we got to fight for this truth on the death. We vowed our lives, and we got to make sure to pay it. Look what happened with the Jonah. When he didn't uphold his end of the bargain. Most high got him swallowed up in the belly of a fish, man. Or well. You know, in the New Testament it says well. Old Testament says fish. Either way it goes. We don't want none of that. Okay? We don't want none of that, man. At all. Alright? We want salvation. We desire the day of the Lord. We desire mercy and safety in the times of trouble. Because best believe all hell is getting ready to break loose, man. And we don't want to have that feeling in that day, my power, my power, why has that forsaken me? We want to have confidence and boldness in the day of judgment. But we, got to make, we have to be made perfect in love. Because perfect love casteth out fear. You see? So if you perfectly love the Lord, you're not going to fear shit. Besides the Alba Shema Psalms 3 and 4. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Salah. 
Psalms 18 and 6, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my power. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him even into his ears. That's right. So even when you in those moments where you're feeling that Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabachthani moment, guess what? Yahweh Hashem Shai still hears you. But it's kind of like, you know, for members of the flock who have children, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't uh, tend to your child with every cry they have. Because certain things you want your child to learn to figure it out for themselves. Now, of course, we can't do nothing with, our, for, with ourselves, you know. Yeah, I wish I said, for without me, you could do nothing. But certain things the Lord makes us go through to kind of like help confirm our spirit to show like, okay, the Lord is dealing with me. You know, I don't need, I don't always need confirmation in the spirit to know yeah, how much is dealing with me. It's kind of like a faith booster moment. Stuff to, stuff to help build up our faith and our strength in the spirit, you know, because if the Lord just, of course, the Lord delivers us out of all situations. But I'm talking about if the Lord just shows you every time he's with you, like, and he just, you know, basically not exercising your faith, not exercising you to have the reason to, to you know, not see, but to know he's still there. It, it, it'd be easy to believe in Yahweh Hashem Shai. And the way I'm wording it is not necessarily the best, but I hope, you know, whoever is meant to receive it will receive it. But basically, Yahweh Hashem Shai has proven our faith, man. You're not going to always see the Lord working in your life, but he's, he's working. Best believe it. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean he ain't working, man. Okay? So, you know, we just have to trust. In moments like that, the Lord is teaching us how to trust, how to stand firm in the spirit. You know, you don't always help your child in certain situations. Of course, you're right there to help him, but sometimes you want him to go through it himself so that he could build, be built up, you know? But um, we got a few more and wrap it up, Lord willing. Psalms 31 and 22. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. That's right. How about Shemesh is hearing our supplications? He's hearing our cries, man. So don't say in your haste, I'm cut off. My power, my power. Will, you know, don't say that in your haste. Just trust. Make not haste in the time of trouble, scriptures say. Okay, not that Yahweh Shah was going off because, like I said, through the Spirit, it was prophesied already in Psalms 42. So that had to be fulfilled, right? And we all have moments like that in this flesh where we feel like, damn, like, man, is the Lord dealing with me? But best believe he's dealing with us, man. And Yahweh Shah knew that. He knew that. But prophecy had to be fulfilled. The fact that he went on that cross and went through everything he went through, he knew. He, there's a scripture that says where Yahweh Shah knew that all things were delivered unto him, man. So he, you know, just like how King David knew that the Most High set him up in the throne over Israel. The Most High be confirming things to you through the Spirit sometimes. Where you're like, man, I know the Lord with me, man. You know, and it takes time for you to realize that. But in due time, you will realize if the Lord wants you to. Okay, and if you're of the elect, each member of the elect going to have that moment where they realize, man, the Lord with me. Okay, like sure say, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So this is all a part of this trial. Uh, Psalms. 34 and 6, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. That's right. Psalms 121, a song of degrees in my distress, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. That's right. Jonah, 2 and 2. You know, he said he cried by reason of his affliction. Right? And the most I heard him out of the fish's belly. All right? And what did Jonah say after that? He said, I'm going to pay my vows, man. All right. Psalms 10 and 1, sometimes you're going to feel like this. Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in the times of trouble? In times of trouble. The wicked and his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Yeah, so sometimes you're going to feel like, damn, where the most high at? Damn, hey, Lord, this would be a really great time for you to come in right now. <laughs> you know, you watch the superhero movies and the victim is about to get, you know, touched, for lack of better words, and they're about to get destroyed. And then the superhero just break in at the last moment. And you're like, damn, whew, couldn't have came sooner. You know, sometimes the Lord make you go through that to try your faith. Like sure say, uh, the righteous shall be scarcely saved, man. So it's going to take faith in these times, man. And you might have those moments where you're like, damn, is the Lord still with me? And those moments when you feel like that, man, you got to believe harder, man. You got to go harder in the spirit, man. You know, pray to you out by harder, man. Believe harder, man. Okay, go harder, man. Rebuke those demons, man, because those demons just want you to doubt, man. That's Satan's main job. The scripture says the just shall live by faith. So if Satan can get you to doubt, guess what? He gets you to die. Now, if you have the elect, you can't be plucked regardless. But still, 
We don't want to lose no spiritual battle. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to happen for the greater good of the elect. But for the wicked, any good thing set up for you is going to be set up for evil. It's Rock 39 chapter tells you that. But hey, Lord, this video was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Kakwadash. Devil, honestly, the apostle, elders, great most, never well. Peace, blessed, elect to Israel. Shalom, and the Bible.